Kilauea volcano continues to erupt for the second day in a row. This is a live look at Halima'uma'u crater, courtesy of the U.S. Geological Survey. It can see several fountains of lava breaking through the crater's surface. The eruption is contained in the summit and poses no threat to communities. The USGS today downgraded the volcano alert level from a warning to a watch after they say the lava output rate dropped. It began erupting just after 4.30 yesterday afternoon. KITV4's Tom George has been on the Big Island since last night. He spoke to several people at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park who were all trying to get a glimpse for themselves. Well, as Suda's word went out that Kilauea was in fact erupting again, people began flocking here for a chance to check this out for themselves. And now, 24 hours later, you can see it is still going and many people wanted to check this out in a once in a lifetime opportunity. You can try to put it into words. Even the, the, the red trails of the lava going through there during the daytime is, is awesome. But in the end, pictures just don't do it justice. Kilauea once again putting on a show, a show that many visitors thought they wouldn't get to see when the last eruption stopped a month ago. This is what happens to me. Great things happen when I go places. And so it's erupting because it needed to erupt while I was here so I could see it. Yeah. And what they got to see was arguably even better than the last eruption. What was different was the extraordinarily large uh, fi uh, fissures and fountaining lava in the first couple hours of the eruption yesterday. It was extraordinary. The eruption now downgraded and is still confined to Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater and no dangers to the community. We still won't know the full impact of the recent seismic activity or how much longer this eruption will go. But in the meantime, people taking it all in. For Cheryl Caro from Maui, a full circle moment. She was pregnant with her daughter during the 1983 eruption. Now back to enjoy this one with her 40 years later. Just amazing. I'm blown away and I'm just loving the moment and being with my family and being able to see this again. And with all the crowds gathering here, one thing that park officials are warning people is to make sure that they stay within the bounds. You see this railing right here at the overlook. They've been noticing a lot of people violating those rules going over the edge to try and get a closer look, but they are warning that that is, of course, dangerous. And you can even uh, get cited for that because it is illegal. But the good news is uh, because it's so visible right now, there are good access points to see this eruption from anywhere here at the park. Tom George, KITV4, Island News.